Hello everyone, this is Addy, and on behalf of QA Testing Tools, I welcome you all to yet another enlightening conversation with Gil Bloom, founder and CEO at Testa. As you all know, QA Testing Tools is a unique platform for all you test lovers out there and puts in constant effort to give you in-depth knowledge about testing tools and test management solutions. As a part of our QA Byte series, our mission is to empower testers by uncovering the potential vested within these solutions. Continuing on the same path today, we welcome Mr. Gil Bloom to give us a brief perspective about their flagship product, Testa. Thank you for being with us, Gil. Thank you, Adi. I'm uh, glad to be part of this great uh, interview series. Thank you so much. Pleasure to have you with us. And without further ado, let's dig right into it. Well, I'm certain we might agree that test management applications revolve around the issues of functionality, integration, and interface. It can be web or mobile. Keeping that in mind, which purposes does Testa fulfill? And with so many test management solutions out there, what makes your solution so special? Well, uh, Adi, I would say that uh, we've tried um, in all eight years that we've been uh, operating um, to uh, to try and uh, and do two things that might sound a bit uh, far from one another, but I think we found a cool way to uh, make them work together. On one hand, to be a simple solution, uh, to be very easy to use for the end user, the tester, who is uh, always on our thoughts, and that's how we develop our system. And on the other hand, um, not give up on any feature or any capability that the tester and the test uh, testing manager would expect from a test management. And I think uh, uh, we did uh, quite a good job, if I can say, uh, where we uh, managed to uh, not only include so many um, maybe obvious features and, and capabilities, but also some industry unique ones. Uh, on our system and still keep it very easy, very simple to use. Uh, there's no long uh, learning curve. There's no need uh, for uh, manual reading or anything like that. Uh, so that's, that's one main thing that we uh, think we differentiate ourselves from, uh, from other solutions. Mm -hmm. I completely agree with that. And is this system only for test management or are there any other purposes that test of can fulfill as well? Well, uh, I would say that uh, first and most it is uh, a test management solution. Uh, uh, we we uh, made a very long uh, um, a trip along the road of making it a, a, a better and better uh, and in our view, of course, the best now a test management tool. Um, that said, we do have uh, requirement and defect uh, models that can be used uh, together with the test management. And the test management, of course, includes anything you would expect, uh, creating and importing tests into the uh, test repository, which we're seeing now, uh, being able to, uh, oh, I'm sorry, being able to uh, plan your cycles uh, and uh, um, assigning your tests to the different uh, testers in your group. And as I mentioned, of course, reporting uh, and managing the defects found uh, and being able to uh, look at the requirements coverage uh, as, as done uh, uh, and as, uh, as tests were uh, uh, created from. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have in test of today uh, some other testing services. One to mention would be uh, the load testing that we offer. Um, it's quite new, it's been uh, very popular now, and uh, we do plan on adding some uh, new cool testing services around the test management. All right, great. So test of is not just limited to test management. It goes further and beyond than its capabilities and can help people in a lot of different ways. Well, thank you for that. And uh, 
if you could shed some light on the integration of TESTIF with uh, defect tracking systems or requirement tracking systems that would help our testers uh, listening to this interview as well. Yes, sure. Uh, this is something we, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a good, uh, it's a very good question, something we uh, have uh, put a lot of effort in creating uh, a real uh, integration with other tools. Uh, it's mainly uh, bug trackers, uh, which go side by side usually with the test management, but it's not limited only to uh, bug trackers. Uh, we also integrate with uh, uh, any automation tool and can accept test automation uh, results into test stuff, also to requirement tools uh, and, and, uh, and other. The uh, bug trackers we uh, support today uh, are, uh, are many, I would say almost all, all of them in the market, people can imagine. Uh, I would take one as an example, uh, popular one, like Jira, the bug tracker. Uh, which many of our users use as their uh, tracking, uh, different tracking system. The integration with the test staff is very easy um, uh, to set up, but uh, after that easy uh, steps were taken, the integration itself is quite uh, extensive and comprehensive. Um, you can not only report defects automatically to your a tracker, Jira in this case, but you can also receive back data, for example, uh, updates on the status of the defects. You can uh, close defects directly from Jira in test staff, uh, and, and data goes back and forth between the two systems, which is uh, quite unique, I would say, in the test management uh, uh, solutions out there, uh, where usually the integration is, a, well, best case, I would say, uh, one-sided. Absolutely, absolutely correct. So integration is one uh, interface. There, there are many systems fail or are still struggling to cope up with. And also, I see that you have an API option. Can you let us know how does it work, and is it only for the SOAP clients? Uh, no, it will work for uh, for any of our users. The API is uh, is a REST API. It's open for any uh, customer who has a test of account and it can be used for different purposes. Uh, I've mentioned before uh, our integration with automation tool, uh, which which is based on our open API. But we have groups that uh, take advantage of the API, for example, for retrieving data from their accounts and generating uh, custom reports that they need. Uh, if the many reports uh, in test stuff are, are not enough for them. Um, and uh, um, updating uh, other information directly through the API within uh, test stuff. So the API is, uh, is a great tool for anyone who uh, knows how to, to take advantage of it. Absolutely. Thank you for that as well. And could you just give us a brief idea about how would companies who are located worldwide can use TestUp? I understand that it's a SaaS platform, so it should have that capability. But today, when teams are located all across the world, they are looking for test management solutions that support their efforts. So how is uh, TestUp helping such kind of teams? Uh, well, we in, in several ways. Uh, first of all, we see uh, that uh, what you mentioned is, is, is a very correct ob observation and it's becoming more and more so. We have uh, groups that are uh, uh, located in, in different countries, different continents. Uh, uh, many uh, uh, gr testing groups are located in Asia or East Europe. Uh, and uh, developers in other countries. Uh, so that's an important uh, um, um, option that uh, testing groups are looking for. And uh, we do support that uh, by um, offering, um, today is already 10 data centers uh, around the world that we manage. Um, so uh, servers are located uh, next to the to the group making uh, the performance of the account better. Of course, being SaaS, software as a service helps and you can uh, access your data from anywhere. It's always uh, accessing our servers. 
And uh, today we offer also uh, not only um, one solution, but uh, two solutions to, uh, to work with desktop. One is the desktop client where you can install uh, a solution on your computer and work with it. Again, going uh, to our servers, transfer, or you can use the web solution, which we're seeing uh, right now, and can work with it uh, with your browser uh, and on any device, uh, be it tablets or mobile, uh, and any other device you can work with, with the internet. So groups around the world can work together, seeing the same data uh, on the same account, working with the same servers, just accessing them probably on different time zones and from different locations. Well, good to know that it supports mobile as well as tablet devices. You know, everything is going mobile these days. So um, I also wanted to know, Gil, if you can let us know what is your future insight into the product? So people or companies who are already using Testa, what else can they expect in the future? Uh, well, we have uh, so many. Uh, I would mention the... Uh, a few. Uh, like I mentioned before, we uh, started with newer services around the testing area. Uh, one uh, I showed is the load testing, but we do have plans to add the, um, um, other services around testing um, and to help groups have a more complete view of their testing parts, not only functional and not only UI, and not only the automation part, which we also manage, uh, as mentioned, but also uh, performance testing uh, and, and other areas of testing that would complete the whole testing needs of a, of a software uh, development project. We also, uh, on a few weeks from launching uh, a localization for our web solution, so what we see now will be available in uh, quite a few languages for uh, um, people who prefer working in their own language, be it German, French, Spanish, or other languages. We will be offering that for them, and uh, anyone can switch between the, easily switch between languages and, and work in his own comfortable uh, zone. Well, I appreciate all those efforts. Language support is something that's very intuitive and can help a lot of people across the world and i also see that test is not just a test management solution what people can think of thank you for uh, sharing your insights about the product what you think about it and how it can help our testers gain more expertise in the area that they're performing thank you for chatting with us today gail thank you very much adi it was my pleasure my pleasure too. So this was Mr. Gil Bloom, founder and CEO of Testif. I'm certain that the series will help young testers understand the tools they have in hand and would be able to make the best use out of it. We look forward to your suggestions. Please feel free to share, email, or post comments in our community. On that note, this is Addy signing off for QA Testing Tools. Until next time. Till then, keep testing and stay blessed.